Right, yo, what's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create no delay in DC Universe Online. Um, no one teaches this, so I'm pretty much the first person to do this on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. Um, reason for this is, I know for a fact I ain't really gonna be able to keep up on updating my free tool. So I thought, you know what, this game's just a fucking joke. And the, the, I wouldn't really say the developers themselves, it's more or less, you know, the people above them, the suits and all that, they're just greedy pigs. And I believe that everyone should know how to do this and, you know, get as much stuff as you can for free. Right, now this tutorial isn't really going to be very smooth. It's going to be a lot of stopping and starting. But um, once you learn how to do no delay, then you'll be able to do it a lot quicker. But, you know, when you're learning for the first time, there's going to be a lot of rewinding and going back. But what you want to do is just have Chi Engine open. I'm not going to teach you guys how to use Chi Engine. This is for people that know how to use Chi Engine and understand a little bit of the basics of in-game cheats so i'm not here to answer all these basic questions any advanced questions for you know from programmers or in-game cheaters i will answer but anything basic i'm sorry just go watch another youtube tutorial there is plenty out there so the first thing you want to set up is the hotkeys you can do these tailored however you want this is how i set them up i put speed hack to um just z to zero to freeze the game then uh, x next to it to resume the game you can just do pause um, I can't remember where that is yeah pause the select process but I, I just a lot of tutorials where I learned that we just done it like this and then I put unchanged value to C right so the first thing you want to do is put the value tab to a float and then do unknown initial value first scan now once you've done that first scan you want to go into the game and just press the bind that you use to freeze and there you go the game's frozen then unfreeze it because when you first do it, it takes like a few seconds for it to actually freeze. And then when you do it again, it's a lot quicker just so you can time things correctly. Now, what we're freezing is this uh, this animation here. We want to freeze it when he's up in the air. So I'm going to do this now. So there we go. He's frozen while mid animation. Then go into Cheat Engine. Do increase the value next. Then unfreeze it. And then when he's on the floor, do decreased value next scan. So this is all we're doing. We're just going to be repeating this constantly until we have about 100 less, 100 to 90 addresses, and then we'll filter through it. Because when you get to that uh, amount of results, you're only looking for the zeros. It's never going to be any of these like, minus 6.9s, any of the visual um, floating point numbers. It will just be these and zeros here. Not like it's going to be these ones, but these are the only ones that we're going to be after. So we've done the decrease value now that he's landed back on the floor. So we're going to freeze it again mid animation. There we go. And then go to increase the value. Same thing again. Unfreeze. Then decrease the value. Next scan. Now, now that we've done that, we just want to run around and just press your key bind. That is for unchanged value. Because we haven't attacked. So we're just it's going to, the value is going to be the same. So we just do unchanged while we're running around to filter out the, the results. As you can see, they're dropping down. We're down to about a thousand now. Then open up the inventory. Let's see, just move about, unchanged values. We're just getting rid of all the unwanted ones. And now, what I'm going to do also, what helps is instead of only just freezing with the the main attack, we can do it with the abilities. So we're going to do ability two, freeze. Go into cheat engine. Same thing. Increase value next scan, but it's a little different. Now that we unfreeze, wait for the, the timer to finish so the, the ability is available again. And then we do decreased value next scan. It's best to do that instead of just doing this attack because it can take a lot longer. If you combine it with other things, then you will filter the addresses quite quick, uh, more quicker. So now I'm going to do it with a bow. That's the secondary attack that we hold. That will be increased value next. Unfreeze it. Now the animation done, we do decreased same thing same principle same with doing it with this one here this one and the ability because what we're searching for is the timer of the delay between the, the the attacks so as you can see we've got about 100 values i'm seeing a couple unchanged there we go so now that we're on 98 what i tend to do is go into cheat engine and i i grab all of the addresses that are zeros i think i can do a couple more unchanged yeah, 96 so I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is just cut the video, but I'm gonna get rid of all these visual flow numbers, get rid of all the addresses that are not zero. So to do that, you just click them, hold control, 
and then right click remove selected addresses I think it was just zeros left so I'm gonna quickly cut the video right as you can see we've only got zeros so I'm just gonna grab a few grab about this much and now I only recommend that you freeze about one to three at a time then if it's not that so let's do it now so we'll freeze these ones go into the game attack okay that's not no delay so now that we know those aren't the right addresses just unfreeze them and then delete them and then just the same thing for that and if none of these are it then we can just right click here and then remove these addresses right so none of those addresses were no delay so i'm just going to right click and remove these selected addresses because we've already checked those and i'm going to grab some more so i will cut the video and get back to you when i have found the right address right so i found the right address um, a key point I should have mentioned is when you're going through the results attack and you see it says 1.121 that just means that that result is responding to your clicks so that could potentially be the correct address so with the bow it normally is around 1 point something 1.21 that's what it's coming up as so as you can see if we go in and freeze it now at zero we've got no delay so just bear that in mind like I said, this tutorial ain't going to be the greatest, but nobody really makes guides on this. So hopefully you guys are able to learn from this video. Right now that we've actually got the correct address for no delay, I'm just going to get rid of this script that I already created and I'm going to recreate it so you guys can make your own. So when you close the game and reopen it, you'll be able to activate it and it still works. So you want to right click it, go to what writes to this address and just attack once. And I know it, the bytes for no delay at the moment is 8947.3c, so it's this one here. And then go show disassembler. Um, and if it don't work, then you just want to go through them and just go here and go replace with code that does nothing. So you're nopping the value. And as you see, it is no delay, it works. Now go back, right click it, and restore it back to the original code. Then go to tools, auto assemble, template. Add in the code framework, then the code injection, and then where we see MOV, this bit of code here, you just want to put two dashes, and that's the same thing, you just replace the code and it knocks it. And then go file, assign to the current cheat table, and then just close out of this, close this, and this script here is no delay, so we're just going to name it no delay. So we go into the game, as you can see, no delay isn't activated. But once we go back into the game, activate it, there we go, we've got no delay, so that works. So now you can close the game, reopen it, and this will work. However, after updates, this may not work, because the address can change. The fr those bytes do stay the same, what I've noticed, they're 8947.3c, I think it was. Um, that's how I can tell what is the right um, value when you go, what writes to this address. So hopefully you guys are able to learn from this. I'm not the greatest at explaining cheats because I'm still learning myself, but I ain't gonna be able to keep updating my free tool, so I thought I might as well teach you guys how to do it yourself. Now in the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to find the coordinates X, Y, and Z, and that can also lead to creating teleportation hacks. But what I'm gonna do after finding the coordinates in the third video is how to find no clip. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in part two.